16 trillion Shiba Inu was removed. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. We're going to talk about Shiba Inu. We're going to talk about Bitcoin that didn't cross 70,000 last night. It didn't happen. We got a little bit excited last night, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get there. Uh, the crypto market, very interesting week here for crypto and in general for the world. We're going to talk about what's happening. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out the good, good vibes. Smishity smash that like button because it's Monday. This is your weekly reminder that investing in crypto is risky. You can literally lose all of your money to a rug pull, a bankruptcy, a wallet hack, a smart contract hack, or just a schlit coin going to zero. Never invest more than you can afford to lose, ladies and gentlemen, because you've been such good boys and girls. Let's do the Shiba Shake. <laughs> So currently we have Bitcoin sitting at 68,534, down 0.7% on the day. You can see Bitcoin went all the way up to 69,000, about 500, and then started pulling back here. The powers that be do not want Bitcoin to get over 70,000 because there's a lot of shorts that could potentially get liquidated at that zone. So they are very afraid and they're pushing the markets down. Uh, so far, we'll see. Maybe it turns around. Maybe there's a, a flipperoo, right? Currently, Shiba Inu is sitting at uh, 0.401898, down 0.32% on the day. And actually, it was already at 1930. But over the past hour or so, we have seen a little bit of a pullback back here for Shiba Inu. Nothing too crazy. Shiba Inu is still uh, riding. You can see the 1348 EMA here and, uh, you know, still has the buy, not strong buy it, it because it moved down a little bit. It's it's on the on the verge there, a little bit down, a little bit up. The the technicals uh, change a little bit. You can see the simple moving average and the whole moving average just it went down a little bit and it went from buy to sell. So it's very, very delicate situation right now in the crypto market. Uh, and it will be interesting to see where potentially Shiba Inu and Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market uh, will go here. The crypto fear went down a little bit. Interestingly, it's still pretty flat at 72, even though the price of Bitcoin went up. The fear is uh, the greed is still at 72. So people aren't that greedy. People may be a little bit concerned, you know, what could potentially happen. And we did see uh, the weekly candle um, for Bitcoin close on the green. So a very nice weekly candle um, for Bitcoin. And if we go to the month, right, because it's October. Um, so you can see we are also uh, a very not, you know, a, a ginormous green candle here, but a 8% uh, movement for Bitcoin on the month. Um, so it's, you know, for, for for a month, it started out with a dip to 58,000. We're up $10,000 there for Bitcoin. It's good, right? It's good. It's not, wow, amazing, you know, and I know that everybody wants the banana zone to, to start, but it always takes a little bit. It always takes a little bit of uh, trial and tribulation. You know, if you if you don't lose 90%, you'll have, you know, they say you won't get those 90 Xs. Uh, but listen, Bitcoin is only 6% away from all-time high, whereas altcoins, they're still 80%. 40%, 50%, you know, Shiba Inu is um, about 60%, um, somewhere around that range, 80% away from its all-time high. Um, so potentially there's still a lot to grow for altcoins and, you know, that, especially meme coins, and, and that gives hope that if things start popping, that money will flow into those because they have, you know, a lot more room to grow, whereas Bitcoin, it's a lot harder and it's, it's closer to its highs. But we don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows what's exactly going to happen and how it's going to play out. Of course, not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. It will be very interesting to see how the next few days develop. If you're interested in playing the waves here or riding the waves, our partner Marjex will give you the opportunity to do so. Uh, link is in the description down below. If you do decide to use leverage, please, 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 please trade responsibly. 
I've made a lot of money with leverage, but I've also lost a lot of money with leverage. So a link is in the description down below. And we do have our competition going on. Uh, there's currently $1,500 being distributed between the participants. Um, so if you want to be part of that, link is in the description down below. I'll get a little commission if you use my link. Uh, I've seen some big channels already start partnering with Margex, uh, like Altcoin Daily that we, we just showed here. So if you do use my link, I appreciate that because I know that there's a lot of competition for, the, for, competition for the links. <laughs> right, so I appreciate it if you do sign up using mine. Uh, if you don't, it's okay as well. I know leverage is not for everybody. We saw Donald Trump launching a crypto project and 10 days later, he started working at McDonald's. You cannot convince me that we're not living in a simulation. And you saw here, he worked at the drive through here. <laughs> it will be interesting to see if Donald actually wins uh, the election, what happens uh, with crypto and how it would, do we get a Donald pump or is it just pumping because it's having year and it's November on the having year, and that's usually when crypto starts pumping. So I, we'll see. We'll see. You know, we don't know. It's uh, again like the two timeline situation. If she, if Sir Harris wins, will it be bad for crypto? Will crypto still pump? If Trump wins, will it be good for crypto? We'll, like we don't know uh, what what the scenario could be, but very interesting uh, happening there. Pam B says his stock and flow model is on track, and Bitcoin will be worth over five hundred thousand next year. What do you guys think? Um, that could be very good for the crypto market. I have my prediction around 350, which was which was where I'm thinking just making math, not you know doing anything else, just calculating uh, percentages and movements from previous all-time highs to highs and you know previous cycles and and I averaged it out and got to about 350. Uh, but 500, yes, could be a, a possibility as well. Uh, in that scenario, um, we'd see about right if we do let's say 500,000 divided by. Uh, you can't see what I'm doing right now. I'll show you in just a second. Uh, it's about a 7.29 uh, x uh, for Bitcoin. So let's say uh, that happens, right? And we take Shiba Inu 0.0004 um, 1892. That, what did I just do? Technical difficulty time. <laughs> I think it just, uh, that would get me to four zeros uh, and one three. So that would mean three zeros, uh, one three. That would basically bring us to a potential all time high also for Shiba Inu. A new all-time high so it will be interesting to see what happens and if we can happen but that's the current prediction uh from plan b bitcoin consolidates the year's all-time high more than 320,000 active addresses are interacting with this price range notably 220,000 of these addresses have average acquisition price at 68,005 suggesting a strong level of interest and potential support at this key level it seemed a lot of people thought maybe it was buying here maybe it was buying you know back in the day um that people thought that this zone was the zone that you know was going to break out and we we're going to go to a hundred thousand and we saw a lot of people buying at that zone uh and so now they're about to become in the money and there's this you know we talked about this before when someone's out of the money and then suddenly they become green in their position they have a tendency to double down or or grow their position because they now feel confident in the position Whereas when it's in the red, they feel that it's not a good position or they're afraid that it's going to go down more. It's just a psychological thing. Uh, and so it's going to be interesting to see what happens here uh, going forward. We did see, uh, you know, breakout here on the weekly uh, for Bitcoin. So again, it will be interesting to see. Um, will will this week be the week that we have been waiting for or another week in, in our you know, in our long um, altcoin bear market that we've experienced here longer than the 2014, 2016 period. Uh, and you're still here. That's great. As the bull market is around the corner and this is likely exceeding your expectations. So I don't know if it will exceed your expectations. I don't know if it's going to be bombastic again, like I said before, but all the indicators are staying this. And if everybody believes it, <laughs> will it actually happen? That's the question, right? That's the question. And we are seeing, right, 16 trillion or $288 million worth of Shiba Inu leaving exchanges as we got that 30% price increase. As the data from Glassnode showed that chip holders have withdrawn over 16 trillion tokens from exchanges in the last seven days. Uh, when a large crypto amount of cryptocurrency is withdrawn from exchange, the circulating supply available for trading that platform reduces. This can increase scarcity. Pop particularly if the withdrawals involve a popular coin or a large portion of liquidity. 
In most cases, this leads to potential price rise due to basic supply and demand principles. Uh, but again, not for sure. And usually what it tells me is that if a lot of Shiba Inu or if a lot of an asset is leaving the exchanges, that means that the that the holders are not planning to sell. Because if you're on an exchange, most likely you're either using it as some sort of collateral for your leverage trading or you are about to sell, right? Because we've learned before that exchanges are not bank accounts, right? And we take a risk uh, on leaving our assets on them. Although like FTX, we're going to see the distributions happen in the next few months, but there's no, you know, for sure that if another exchange, something like this happens, that they will, right? We don't know. So we have to be careful. And so when people re remove uh, assets from an exchange, it usually means that they are, uh, you know, putting it in an external wallet or they are, you know, moving to another exchange. We don't know. Maybe that's what's happening. They found a better exchange, uh, but, you know, with better fees, who knows? But usually it's a good thing, a good sign, uh, and potentially that people are getting ready for this uh, nice uh, movement to the upside and their, the fear, and we can see this, of course, in the greed and fear index, has subsided a little bit and people are, you know, making decisions according to that uh, and it will be very interesting to see where shiba inu and where the rest of the crypto market can go from here of course not financial advice you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest don't forget to smash the like button let's try to get 500 likes if you made it to the end you know you got it you gotta smash the like button it's free it's free <laughs> uh, check out the links in the description down below some of them are affiliate links so i'll get a little bit commission if you use my link thank you for that uh, and of course, I'll never contact you for some, you know, stuff and, you know, on Twitter or wherever it's scammers. Be careful of the scammers. Don't click on any links, any airdrops, any things like that. Be very, very careful out there. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.